everybody! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison and I'm a fashion reseller online on Poshmark and eBay. And today you are here for my monthly what's sold for over $75 video. This month is for March. And if you watched my last video in February, which I'll link right up here, I had a really slow February because I had to babysit a lot for my niece. And I only ended up selling 10 things over $75. Well, this month I was full time, I was getting back in the swing, I was working hard, and I sold 26 things over $75. And I was actually only about $150 away from my monthly goal. And I have these like pretty ridiculous high dollar sales to really thank for that. So I'm definitely glad that while I do go to Goodwill, I do sell a ton of things where I just make a net profit of 20 or 30 or 40 or $50. I am glad that I spend up and spend about 50 to $70 on things that I can sell for 200 to $400. Okay, so we're gonna go from 75 up to the highest dollar amount. So the first thing that sold for $75 was this Margaret O'Leary. Which is a new brand for me cashmere and wool blend mother of pearl cream cardigan and it was a circle cardigan which means that it's a circle it's like a circle with sleeves so here in the picture you can see it's yeah it's a circle with sleeves so you definitely want to be putting circle cardigan as a keyword if you ever had one of those and it was like a real mother of pearl button, which is why I included that as well. And you'll know if it's real mother of pearl, if on the fabric tag, it says like it, it usually doesn't just say mother of pearl, but it says like something like from real animal origin or something like that. So then you're like, what, where is that? And that's, that's the mother of pearl. So that was a new brand for me and it was just in a Goodwill. I think I picked it up for 11 or $13. But this one, just because it was cashmere and wool and it really did look so pretty in person and I'm glad that these pictures actually came out like halfway decent because that's like one of the hardest colors to photograph is that just like kind of off-white color in front of my like off-white wall. So that's definitely something I'm trying to get better at for sure. but. So that's that. And then our next thing is actually, was actually sold on Mercari. Okay, so it was this Ted Baker Milene side bow detail dress. And this was actually in my Salvage Traders box, my 10 piece Nordstrom luxury box. And I'll link that video up here because I did an unboxing for it. And so my thing that I have found that I tend to do with unboxings is I'm like super harsh during the actual unboxing, during the video. I'm like, this is crap. I hate most of this. Like, I don't even want to sell it. It's not my aesthetic. <laughs> like, I, that's what I found is that I'm super harsh. And then like, of course I end up listing it and I've like made most of my profit back already with selling like three things or so this dress actually got a lot of attention. For, it was just like a super simple, really streamlined dress with like, but that bow detail is pretty unique. Had boas like here and here, which I've never seen before, is really unique. And then it had like a pocket right under that bow. So really, really cute. So I had it listed for $100. And since it was getting a lot of attention, like I, did, I wasn't accepting, I wasn't, entertaining like low ball offers because I got a lot of low ball offers for like as high as 50 and I really wanted at least 75. It sold for 75 on Mercari which is excellent because then I only get 10% fee taken out rather than 20 from Poshmark. So I was really happy about that and it was new with tag which helps tremendously. I was really happy with that one and I would obviously get that one again. I just, I do wish I got it for a little less than I did get it for, but that's okay. My next sale was for $80, which was actually my full asking price. And it was this Everlane, the utility drape jumpsuit in black. Just a super solid piece from Everlane. It had, it was a jumpsuit that had this cinch waist 
really just kind of utilitarian and kind of androgynous too, which is definitely in right now for sure. And what was it? It was made out of something cool. Like I want to say tinsel. Yeah, tinsel lyocell, which is actually a natural fabric. Mm, I can't remember what it is now. I think it's one of those where it's like wood pulp or something. Anyway, so it was just really cute and actually this one like it got moderate attention it was listed for like a, maybe like 10 days or two weeks but two different people purchased it for full price like overnight while i was sleeping um for full price one on ebay and one on poshmark i always like picking up everlane i got this one at a buy sell trade store here in austin i saw it and i was like oh yeah people will definitely want that so, and it had cute stock photos, which you can pretty much always expect from Everlane. So $80. Okay, my next sale, which I sold for $85, was, were this pair of newest tag of Goldie Tony mid-rise slim straight jeans. And they had this fun stripe down the side. I like how that girl is just like, I don't care, I wanna go shopping. I love a Goldie jeans. They just feel like really quality jeans. And so they were new with tag. They were super cute, had a ton of great stock photos. I actually had them listed for 145 because they were new with tag. And I, that's not really super crazy because I had sold some new with tag, a Goldie. They were like a high rise wide leg jean before. So like, little bit more on trend but they sold for 120 in two days before they were new with tag too so i was like let's do 145 i'll send an offer for 120 and we'll just take it from there so these didn't get like as much attention as i at first thought so i ended up I started sending out 20% offers after like a couple weeks, which is what I'll do. Usually when I first list something, if it's something like really good and it's getting attention, then I just, I won't send offers yet. And then if it's three to four days or I'll start sending out 10% offers. And then if it still hasn't sold after three weeks or maybe a month, then I'll just start doing 20. And I've usually always padded my numbers plenty enough to even do 20. And I, I rarely, if ever, do 30%. Yeah, I would just, because the, the things I have usually aren't really built to move fast necessarily. They're like higher priced things that I already know are gonna take a while to find the right buyer. So. It just doesn't really make a ton of sense to me to lower the price that much. I got these from the same consignment store that I got that Everlane from. Those sold for $85, so that's great. I'm gonna keep picking up a Goldie jeans for sure, especially these that are like a lighter wash and mostly cotton, like more of the rigid, and if they're straight or wide leg, then I'm just gonna pick those up for sure. And especially distressed or like unique in some way. Okay, next is another pair of jeans that also sold for 85. And they are the Mother High Waisted Looker Ankle Phrase, but they are white. And I told myself that I was not going to be getting any more white jeans because they sit for way too long. But these were new with tag and they were high waisted and they had frayed ankles. So I went ahead and picked them up and I got them for a really good price too at the consignment store. So they actually didn't take that long to sell at all. These sold in five days. What? I think I had them listed for 120 and someone sent me an offer for 85. So I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. So I guess people liked liked these a lot so I'll definitely make sure to look at the um the, the um high-waisted looker look the looker style from mother oh I forgot to tell you what my profit margins are on these sorry I have my spreadsheet like right here it's like full of numbers but I'm just giving you bits and pieces so I let's make sure to have the right one highlighted first I spent $18 on these they only took five days to sell uh, for 85, so which gave me a net profit of $42 from these. So it's like finding a couple 20s in the store. So I made a profit margin of 50%, 0.06 technically. 
So that's great. I doubled my money after fees. My next sale, I actually sold for $85 as well, was this Sailor Amy Rose Embroidered Tiered White Cotton Maxi Dress, which was sold at Free People. So I included Free People in the title. And it was a really pretty dress. And this is another thing from that same consignment store trip. I got the Everlane jumpsuit, the Goldie jeans, the Mother jeans, and this dress from the same consignment store in Austin. It's called Pavement. And they were having like a grand opening, so I knew they were gonna have a lot of good inventory there, and I was right. So this dress is so pretty. It's white, it's tiered. You can see how it crisscrosses in the back. And it's whenever there's white and then just like red roses on something, especially like embroidered, it's always going to look good. And I just really liked it when I saw it. And it actually had these huge like yellowish stains down the front when I got it. And I'll pop up a picture if I can find it. But luckily I was able to get them out. I soaked that whole dress in OxyClean and... I was so happy that it got it out. It was just super pretty, the embroidery and everything. And this dress got a lot of attention on every platform. And I had it listed for 125. Everybody, it was like one of those where everybody wants it but nobody wants to pay the amount. Um, so I got a lot of lowball offers and I eventually just settled for $85. I think one of the reasons I was willing to go as low as 80 was because it had this little flaw right here if you can see so this was a really like plunging v neckline and then it had like a little um hook and eye and right where that was was like a little like from where a little hole like you could it still functioned but there was just that little like barely noticeable hole right there so I was like, yeah, let's do it for 85 because guess what? That only took four days to sell. So I ended up spending $14 on this. Um, had it listed for 125, it sold for 85, which gave me a net profit of 54.74 and a profit margin of 64.39%. So a really good sale. I would buy that again. I did have to put some time into this dress, but just seeing the results and like, cause I just love the dress so much. So I didn't really mind it as much, but I've been really open to buying things with stain flaws lately. And I'm kind of finding that it's not that amazing to spend time on that as much. So I'm only gonna buy things with stains if they're like this and I really like them. They're like a really awesome piece that I know is gonna get a lot of attention. And this is a really good example of that because it sold in four days and I made a 64% profit margin. Okay, my next sale is also for $85. That's just like a nice number to sell things for. And they are these Free People Outer Limits stretch boot. Like I don't even really like calling them a boot because they're completely like cloth feeling, but they were really cool. I saw them in an Uptown Cheapskate, which is a consignment store here in Austin. I believe that they have chains all over and I definitely paid like a little too much for them, but I thought that they were super unique and they had, they were like brand new. I didn't have the box, but they had never been worn, you could tell. And I had never seen boots like this before. So, and they did have leather. So <laughs> they had like the inner soles were leather. So I was like, ooh, quality. And so these took a while to sell. So these actually took 97 days to sell. And I paid 35 for them and they sold for 85. And then shipping was 11. So I, while I, they did sell on Mercari, I still had to pay that $11 shipping. So anyway, so the numbers on these guys were, so I bought them for 35, they sold for 85 which gave me a revenue of 62.74 which that's a good amount to get back in my bank account um, but the net profit after shipping fees and cost of goods was only 27.74 which gives it a 32.63 percent profit margin so not the greatest i mean i would buy these again but like at goodwill for like 12 dollars, i think i guess i think 
I think. And I still like them. Like it's not like my style that I would feel confident in wearing, but it's the kind where I'm, if I saw someone wearing them and like rocking them, I'd be like, that is cool. So I liked them. Okay, so our next sale, and we are finally moving up to the three digits. Hey oh, three digit range. So this sold for $100. This dress had so much attention. I feel like I had to do so much like messaging people asking me questions about it. And um, so this is the Reformation Tudor Rainbow Slit Maxi Dress. So pretty. And I think I have a lot of my success on this one is due to this one stock photo. I think I really liked it. And I think if I'm being honest, cause here's like the, the Reformation stock photo right there. Um, but this, I think, is like why it sold on Depop. Uh, because this is like a really Depop stock photo right here. Um, if you have ever been on Depop, then you know exactly what I mean. Really, really pretty. I actually got this at a Buffalo Exchange here in Austin. And I actually had to stain treat this as well. But another success story there. And Depop only lets you add four photos. If you've never um, listed on Depop before, four photos can you even believe that so since i'm such a stock photo bitch it's usually like one to two stock photos and then the picture of like the front and the back of the dress and i like to have i like to use all my picture slots and show so much detail so because my stuff is like i want people to really pay up for what they're getting so i want them to see everything and like feel confident and not have any questions and not have to like message me questions i hate that so this was a really pretty, after a couple of messages back and forth with the buyer, they finally offered $100. And I was really happy to do that because the Depop is only a 10% fee, just like Mercari. This um, wasn't the hugest profit margin though, because I did pay up. I actually paid $42 for this. And I mean, I wasn't using the smart part of my brain and I knew that at the time and I was okay with it because I liked it so much. And it sold in 23 days. So I had it listed for 125, sold for 100. Shipping was 438, so cool. It was really light. So my revenue was 82.42 and my net was $40.42, making it a actually <laughs> the exact same profit margin. 40.42% so pretty good like that's I'm fine with that I I don't I would think I would get this again and maybe I could even sell it for more who knows okay my next sale also for $100 was over on eBay and it was this newest tag anthropology gal meets glam Cheryl pink ruffle floral botanical maxi dress and those are like that's my eBay title Poshmark you can't have nearly as many characters in your title so that was like all the main keywords that I wanted to use for this and it did actually say like on the website that it was an anthropology exclusive for Gal Meets Glam so I was fine like putting that in there and this was my first time selling Gal Meets Glam I got this at Pavement on that same trip their grand opening trip they had so much good stuff and you could tell that they were saving some good stuff because they had a lot of new with tag like spring dresses there and this was a really really cute it got a ton of attention like it's not one of those gal meets glam dresses like if you don't know gal meets glam does not manufacture anymore but it has a huge following and there are certain dresses styles of theirs that are just cult favorites that sell really fast and for a lot um, this isn't like exactly one of those, but it's still a really good dress that people were really interested in. So really, really cute. As you can see, it crossed in the back and it was like this botanical pattern. Yeah, there was even like little monkeys on the branches. And I, I was like literally Googling, trying to find exactly what kind of monkey that was. And I eventually gave up because I wanted to put the name of the monkey in there. Like you, you never know if somebody is a monkey researcher or takes care of monkeys at the zoo and they're looking for themed novelty stuff on eBay and they see, oh my God, here's a beautiful dress that has my monkeys on it. You never know. And with eBay, you have like plenty of room for all these whatever keywords you want. So 
I spend a few extra minutes. I spend way too many extra minutes on all of my listings, actually. Like, I need to get way faster at listing, but but whatever. So I can't wait to source more of Gal Meets Glam again. Definitely need to go back to pavement soon, although it's not grand opening anymore, but still. So I purchased this for $17, which is pretty good. I had it listed for $115, just like based on sold comps. Um, someone offered me $100 on eBay, so that was awesome. $542 shipping. And then, so my revenue was $81.83. My net profit was $64.38, which gave me a profit margin of 64.38%. So amazing sale. Like, I can't wait to find more of this brand. It sold in eight days. So all around, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Okay, our next thing that sold for 100. We're still on the 100s, but we're about to go higher in the next one. So this is one of those things that I got from my Salvage Traders box that I was like, mm, I don't know, I wouldn't have picked this up myself. And I was like, way too harsh on it. I mean, it is pretty, but I just wouldn't have picked it up. Like, first of all, okay, let me tell you, and let me tell you what it is. Let me tell you. So it was a newest tag Pizarro Knights embellished mesh gown. It was in this gray, like slate color. And luckily it did have this stock photo where she looks really nice because it's not really the kind of dress that looks amazing like on the hanger as you can see it just looks like a like a gray rectangle which is why I love stock photos and I'm going to continue to use stock photos until the day when I get like arrested and taken to jail for you know because I just love them I just love them they make me happy so and like you can even see on the the girl the whole body picture here how like the pattern the beading pattern like cuts cuts down right here and like right here and it's super flattering so I really like that stock photo so also like I feel like if I was just out of like Nordstrom Rack trying to source when they had extra 50% off clearance or whatever that I wouldn't have picked this up because I would have been worried that it was gonna get all up by the time I got home like the beading on it it had beads all over look at this um if I could find another picture of how like intricate that beading is like the crisscross beading where it's just like little threads but the bead it's like don't touch it You're gonna mess it up like I just feel like I would hold it and turn and then it would be like a bunch of pearls like falling down like you know on home alone when there's all those marvels that Marv like he like trips on him and he goes Wah! and he like falls and then Kevin's like yes like it was gonna be like that but it was gonna be all beads I was afraid that that's what was gonna happen but it turned out okay they didn't they gave me a good rating and everything so it's it's over it's done we're good so I retail at 228 I should have been more appreciative for getting this honestly it was a size 12 and I'm sure someone is going to wear this to a wedding like to me, it's like a very mother of the bride type dress. Not to say that it's boring, but you wouldn't really be able to wear this dress as a, as a bridesmaid. Like when you're mother of the bride, you can wear whatever you want to pick out usually. So that's why I say that. So anywho, so I technically got this for $25. The deal with that salvage traders box is that I got 10 dresses, but two of them were unusable. And I like you can go back and look at my video if you want to see that I absolutely unusable so it was going to be $20 a dress but then I had to hike it up because I had to increase my cost of goods for each dress because it was like getting um, eight dresses instead of ten so anyway I had it listed for 125 someone offered me a hundred on Mercari in like five days so I was like are you serious? I was surprised because Pizarro Nights, I've never seen a Pizarro Day. So I, I had never heard of that before. I just tried to like really pack it with keywords because I knew this dress was going to be found by the keywords and not necessarily the brand. They don't talk about the medical side effects of doing YouTube videos.
getting a headache. Let me give you the rest of the numbers on this dress because they are good. I did double my money even for the higher cost of goods. So paid 25, got 100, shipping was 10, but I still earned 76.80. My net profit was 51.80 and my profit margin was 51 percent so that's awesome okay my next sale was my only tradesy sale of the month and it was my only tradesy sale of the year so far because <laughs> i don't know this is my third thing that i've sold on tradesy and i've been selling on there for probably like six months and I've, I basically just cross list anything that's fancy or that's over a hundred dollars. I'll cross list on there. And this was a big surprise too. So this was the, let's see, the Alfred Sung strapless high low ball gown onyx formal dress. A lot of keywords there too. So this is one from Salvage Traders as well. So like, again, sorry for being so harsh, but it was, it's like definitely one of those dresses where it looks all right when you're like holding it in front of you. Like, okay, it's a strapless dress. It's kind of wide on the bottom. Oh, it's high low. That's cool, whatever. But these stock photos, again, like, thank you stock photos. They're so cute. And like, I saw these stock photos and I was like, look at her hair. That's so cute. Like, how do you do that with it? So I, I just so appreciate when they like style pieces up. <laughs> look, look at the stock photo and then the... <laughs> so anyway, so this is a cute dress. Like it was new with tag, it had pockets, which I think, I don't know if I would have bought this dress if it didn't have pockets. Like that's, that's huge. Really cute. It had like a boned bodice, which is always a plus. And... So it retailed for 262. So the numbers on this one. Um, so 25 would be the cost of goods. I had it listed for 120. And what's funny, 120, what's funny is that I had it listed for only 100 on the other platforms, but on TradeZ, I was like, because TradeZ has a 20% profit margin, I believe, just like Poshmark. So it's kind of steep. And plus, you don't see your money for an entire month after you sell on there. So you really have to wait. And I, I guess I felt kind of, I, I guess me and Tradesy were kind of just like, I wasn't like speaking to Tradesy, you know, like I was giving them a cold shoulder. Like I was still listing, listing to there, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to put you at 120 because... I don't believe that you're gonna sell on here. So what's the point anyway? I was so I was extra surprised to see I got a text message. That's how Trade Z tells you you get a text message that it my Alfred Sung strapless high low ball gown had sold for 120. So I was like, yay! So shipping was 812, which is about what um to be expected. And so my revenue was 84.64. My net after fees and cost of goods and shipping was 59.64. So that's good. And my profit margin was 49.7%. So that's really good. And it only took 10 days to sell. So, okay, so my next sale is, okay, this is a new tag free people, lover to lover, um, Bali maxi dress. Here it is right here. Found a couple cool like blogger pics of it. And I found this one at Pavement as well on their grand opening trip when I went. And so I actually listed this while I was in the gym on the stationary bike because that's like my favorite thing to do. Usually my daily thing, um, if it's a photography and listing day, I'll list like the whole first half of the day and then I'll make dinner because I, I enjoy making like these dinners that me and my husband will eat so I, I like kind of decompressing with dinner then I'll usually go into the gym and I'll just go on the stationary bike for as long as it takes me to edit all my photos and find the stock photos for them I did that and I actually just went ahead and like went through with the whole listing of this dress while I was on the bike I don't know why I guess I just liked it and I 
I, I think I hadn't listed in a, a couple days. So I just really want to get some listings out. So literally within like maybe 10 minutes, someone had liked it. So I had this listed for 150 because I had sold one of these Bali dresses before by Free People. That was also a new with tag that I got from a different payment store in Houston. And it sold for like $125 on Mercari like pretty fast. So I was like, let's do this one for $150. And so someone had liked it like five minutes later after I pressed publish. And so I just sent them, I was like, I'll go ahead and send like the 10% offer on this. And they per they accepted it like right there. And then I got this message. I'll have to blur out their username, but I just wanted to show. So they purchased it and then they said right away, thanks, I've been looking for this. <laughs> I was like, well, no, shit. like that's it's just crazy like the things that you find when you're like literally your job is to go find things they are just casually looking for and then you you post it just hoping the best and then someone's like i've been looking for this like thank you so much because i have been wanting this like i didn't know that i just liked it too so anyway it's really cute it was a medium had all these ruffles, just a really cool design. And it had the tag, so it didn't have like the plastic tag, but it had this like cloth tag on it, which is the Bali tag. And so I considered that new with tag because also it was like in pristine condition and it did have the little button, the little spare button thing, little pouch there. Oh, but also it did not have the lining. So if you see this picture, it has the little snap that holds on the lining. It didn't have the lining and this girl didn't care. She was just like, give me that dress. I've been looking for it. So I only spent $26 on this dress. I sold it for $135 with free shipping of $7.45. So my revenue was $100.55 and my net Profit was $74.55, giving me a 55.22% profit margin. And my little spot on my spreadsheet that says the number of days listed just has like a slash through it because it was zero days. It was zero hours. It was like five minutes. So I love when that happens. That's only happened to me like maybe four or five times. So I'll, I'll continue to pick. Um, to pick those ones up for sure. Okay, my next piece was a pretty unusual piece for me. It was this vintage 70s suede rainbow plaid wool paneled women's bomber jacket. And I actually got this off of Depop. If you watched my video, uh, my online sourcing video, I'll link it, I showcased this off. And so basically there was a seller on Depop that I found while I was searching for Veronica Beard stuff to resell because I have really good luck sourcing inventory from Depop to resell um, elsewhere. 185 I had it listed because it was true 70s. Like you could tell like when I researched all of the little like accessories on it, like you could just, I, I had confirmed that it was like true 70s, but it is also a cautionary tale. So I will just let you know so that you will not make this mistake. So this sold to someone in the UK, which is great because when you sell to someone on eBay um, through the international shipping program on eBay, they pay for all that extra shipping. I think I had $5 shipping. Um, so if it was domestic, they would have just paid $5 extra shipping. But if it was international, they would have instead paid the shipping rate for the weight and the size of the item that I had input on eBay before I published the listing, so which was $21. And what I didn't realize, which I now do because I have learned, is that if you have something heavier, you make sure to weigh it. Because usually I just estimate my weights on eBay because it's really annoying to weigh your thing before you're listing it. So I just estimate because I'm like, well, it doesn't matter whenever I'm packaging something up, like I'm gonna pay what it costs to ship at that time. Like it doesn't matter. But the reason that it does matter is because if somebody buys it internationally, they get charged at the moment of purchase for the shipping, which is completely, well, mostly by weight. 
So if you put the incorrect weight in there, you're going to be liable for that extra cost. And that's what happened to me. So this wasn't between one and two pounds. It was between two and three pounds. It was, it was heavier. It was like a quality jacket. They only paid $21 shipping. When I went into eBay to package it up and to purchase my label, I input the weight and it ended up being $47 for shipping to the UK. So $47, which means that I was out an extra $26, right? Yeah, an extra $26 that I had not accounted for, you know, in my sale price and my profit margins and everything. So that, I mean, I sold it for $140. Yeah, so so that's kind of a decent little chunk. Um, so let me just read you the numbers here regardless. So, okay, so I spent $40 on it and I would do that again. I just wouldn't make this mistake again. I had it listed for $185. I accepted an offer for $140. I was really happy with that. Shipping ended up being $47, it's crazy. So my revenue was $92.93 and my net profit was $52.93, which is really good. I, I like getting like 50, 50, 50, like item after another, that's really good. I'm not gonna complain about getting, profiting $52 on something. It's just the fact that my profit margin was only 32.88%. So, because it shouldn't have been, that, that shouldn't have been the case. Like, I should have put the true weight, and in that case, the person in the UK might not have gotten it at that point, but, you know, someone domestically probably would have eventually. It only took 21 days to sell, so I did make $52 on this thing in three weeks. So there's a lot to be grateful for there, but just a cautionary tale for you guys to be aware of. Our next thing to sell for 165 was part of my new Tug Zimmerman stuff. And it was this Zimmerman Heather's off shoulder top in garden floral. So this is just the top. It's not the set of these two. I do actually have the set, but this wasn't the set. This is an extra top that I had. So here's the pictures. It is so beautiful, just like all the Zimmerman stuff that I have right now. I ha if you don't know, I have a bunch of, through, through someone, you know, watching me from up above, I was able to source like a whole buttload of new with tag Zimmerman swim and resort collection stuff. And it's all in like perfect condition, like brand new in the Zimmerman plastic wrap. It's crazy. So anyway, I sold this one for 165. I had it listed for 250, and someone sent me an offer for 165, and I was pretty happy with that. And I only paid $35 for this. So let's see the rest of the numbers. I did not pay shipping, they paid shipping. So I earned $132 and my net profit was $97. My profit margin was 58.79% and it's only 20 days. So anyway, and my next sale was actually another Zimmerman sale. And it was these Zimmerman Alia High Waist White Floral Shorts. So these are linen shorts. I actually had like four or five pairs of these. I think I have only one left, one or two left. And I had these listed for $250 and someone sent me an offer for $175 and I was like, sure, well, let's do it. So yeah, aren't these so pretty? They're linen, they're super high waisted. They retail at $375. There's the beautiful tag. And so I spent $59 on these and that makes my earnings $140, which after fees, ugh, I hate that you sell something for $175 and you have to give Poshmark like such a big chunk. I hate that. So that makes my net profit $81 for a 46.29% profit margin and they sold in 16 days. Okay, my next sale was for 175 
And it is this new tag Veronica Beard Riggins Retro Flounce Dress. Isn't this so cute? It's all silk. It's just really pretty. So there's a lot of like Veronica Beard mini dresses that are all silk and everything. And they're not all like super amazing, but I saw this one on, it was either on ThreadUp or The Real Real. And I ended up buying it for $60, which is a lot, but I just really liked it. And I just, it was new with tag too, so I knew that was going to go far. So I had it listed for $2.45, but I ended up kind of um, haggling with someone a bit and selling it for $1.75, which I was still really happy with. So my earnings on it was $1.40. Yeah, so after cost of goods fees, and I didn't pay shipping luckily, my net profit was $80 for a 45% profit margin, and this sold in less than two weeks. It sold in 13 days, so you know I'm always gonna be getting Veronica Beard. I just got a brand new car that my husband bought me, and I named it Veronica Geared. So I love Veronica. I love giving her baths. I love filling her with all the paraphernalia that a girl needs in her car and I am just love her so much. So thank you, Veronica. Okay, my next sale was another sourcing from Depop. Okay, I got it for 50 and then I paid shipping so it ended up being 54. So I paid 54 for this. So it was this new without tag Ula Johnson Panina silk ruffle midi dress with some really cute stock photos. Okay, and I included plenty of them. So it was all silk, really, really cute. And this person on Depop was just like truly undervaluing it and just selling it for that low. And it was in perfect condition. And she was probably just someone who was clearing out her closet. But so I got so much action on this and I ended up selling it for, let's see, so I got it for 54. I had it listed for 220 and I got a lot of lowball offers, um, which is when you know to like, okay, if I just wait, I'll get the right person who understands the value of this brand and knows what they're getting. So someone offered me 180 for it and that was definitely considered a reasonable offer for that. So. I ended up earning $136.55, I ended up netting $82.55 for a 45.86% profit margin and it sold in 15 days. So 10 out of 10, would buy again. Oh, that rhymes, that's fun. Well, that, I guess that's why it's a saying. Okay. Okay, next up we have another Veronica Beard. I have quite a few in um, this month's sales. So this one is really, really cute. It's like one of those where there's a ton of sold comps. So you know it's just like people really like this style. It is the Veronica Beard Lark Cotton Plaid Midi Dress. And it was new with tag. And I got this from, I think I also got this from Depop. Um, but okay, so look at it, it's really cute. And like the magic of this dress is that it could be a career dress or it could be like a Depop dress. <laughs> But it's really, really cute. Just like super classic, like never goes out of style. And it was new with tag. So, oh my gosh, I just loved this a lot. And it retailed at $550, which Veronica Beard tends to do. So I had it listed for $235. I sold it for $185. So my earnings were $148. My net after cost of goods and fees was $84 for a profit margin of 45.41% and it sold in 13 days. So a really good streak here this past month of high dollar dresses that gave me a total net profit of between 50 and $100 that sold in less than two weeks. So that's my sweet spot right there. Like that's great to just have a bunch of sales that are like 50, 100, 120 and it just adds up so much. Okay, so this next one might be one of my highest profit margins ever. It is a new with tag Acris Punto Brodery Inglés jacket. Really cute, unique, but also like, I don't see how it retailed for so much kind of little sweater jacket. Not really, it was like a pretty thin, like really well made and like a stiff, 
cotton eyelet, like really well made, but I don't know how it retailed for as much as it did. Uh, okay, so the tag here. So yeah, US dollars, it retailed for $1,290. So I, so I live in Austin and in Austin there's the regular consignment stores that you're gonna find in any uh, large city. But then there's also like a lot of cool independent thrift stores that I like never go to, which is a really dumb choice. So I just randomly went to one, couldn't even tell you what the name of it was. And I found this newest tag, Acres Punto jacket. And it cost me $3. It's like, of course they don't know that brand. Like how would they know that brand? I wouldn't expect them to. So I had this sitting for a long time. No surprise there. Like it's just not the super standout piece. It is really cute, but it would definitely take the right buyer. So I'm not surprised that it sold on eBay, but I was like this close to just calling it quits and sending this to the real real. When someone on eBay out of nowhere, cause I had it listed for like $300, which seems reasonable for a $1,300 jacket. So somebody offered me $180 for it, like out of the blue on eBay. So I was so freaking happy to accept that offer and off it went. I don't know, I still can't believe it happened. So the numbers on that, <laughs> paid three, sold for 180 um, plus $5 shipping. And then the actual cost of shipping was 1044. So my earnings were 150 and my net was 147. That's crazy for a 79.67% profit margin. And it took 97 days to sell. So yeah, but so happy about that. Like a sale like that is not going to come by again soon for quite a while. So I'm like pinching myself like that's, that's a crazy sale. Okay, we're getting closer to the end. Um, the next sale is these new attack Zimmerman Corsair Flutter Linen Shorts, another Zimmerman piece. So these sold for $195, a pair of shorts for $200, no biggie. I paid $47 for these, and by the way, just look how cute like these photos are. So cute, like I love how like Zimmerman linen is just so structured such high quality. Okay, so anyway, I paid $47 for these shorts. Had them listed for $250, took an offer for $195 with free shipping. So my revenue on these, let me make sure I'm on the right line, was $148.55. My net profit was $101.55. So my profit margin is 52% and these sold in three days. I'm gonna be sad when like all my Zimmerman is finally sold and the, the era of Zimmerman um, summer 2021 is over. So my next highest sale was another pair of the Zimmerman Alia high-waisted white floral shorts. And so the last pair sold for 175, these sold for 200. Yeah, so 200 with free shipping. So my earnings were 152.55. My net was $93 for a 46% profit margin and those took 13 days to sell. So I definitely love this stuff. Okay, we only have one, two, three, four things left. So thank you for sticking around this long. And these are the most exciting things here coming up. So um, the next one is another Veronica Beard. So this was a Veronica Beard Velvet Briar Silk Jacket Blazer. So this blazer was really cute, like just kind of a really simple piece that can go like for work or for casual, like the kind of thing where if you're just wearing jeans and a graphic tee, like you throw a velvet blazer on top and you look so good and you're like ready to go out for dinner. So I purchased this um, I think I purchased this from Thread Up for $80, which is typical for a place like that if you want to get something good. But I had it listed for $295. I sold it for $235 um, with no shipping discount. So my earnings were $188 and my net was $108 for a profit margin of 45.96%. And that took about one month exactly to sell, which is great because 
it's you know it's a velvet blazer so you don't necessarily think springtime so I was really happy to see that sell for a good price okay my third to last best sale in March was also Veronica Beard and it was this um, Veronica Beard Finnick leather dicky trench coat so the thing with this trench is that it's not real leather it's vegan leather so like mostly cotton it's a cotton blend i just really made sure to note in the description that it was like what it was actually made out of like i said like cotton etc so anyway but i mean this retailed for like a thousand dollars or something i don't have it like right in front of me but so I actually got this off of Poshmark. Somebody was just trying to get stuff out of their closet. You could tell like by their other listings that they were just someone who was well off and just had a bunch of nice things. And so I got it from them for 100 and I obviously paid up. I don't usually pay up that much, but for the word leather and it was like actually a trench coat. And this was like right, I sourced it like right after um, the Biden inauguration had just happened when like um, Jill Biden and Michelle Obama like were just really showcasing their statement trench coats and then I saw this and it's like not really a cognac brown it's like almost just a burnt orange but it was just such a statement with it being like a patent leather like it was all shiny too so I had it listed for $435 I decided to accept an offer of $250 because I knew that would still get me around $100 net profit and that was fine because I had really liked just like seeing things like turn over for like $100 profit um, and with it being a trench coat I didn't really feel like waiting around until next fall to really get a buyer that really needed it for fall and like might pay up more so I was like I'll accept $250 like $250 is a really good offer so I earned $200 like I was saying, it really sucks selling something for $250 and then you have to give $50 of those dollars to Poshmark. Like, that's crazy. And so my net was a $100. So I made about a 40% profit margin, but that's okay. It took 64 days to sell. I'm just really glad that this did get sold because it's like validation that I should have sourced this in the first place. Okay, so my top two sales for this month. So number two was Zimmerman. They're actually both Zimmerman. What do you know? It's just so glad I sourced all these. So, so new tag Zimmerman Melody off shoulder mini dress in a size US eight. So really pretty off the shoulder dress, like in the mustard floral was the colorway, for obvious reasons. I sourced this for $75 and it retailed for literally $825. It's a completely linen dress. It was new and tag, so I was like, $75 is a pretty good deal because comps on Poshmark sold comps for new with tag, and I'm not gonna count the people who didn't who like undervalued it and sold it for like $120. Like I'm not gonna count them. <laughs> But so comps were like anywhere from 400 to 600. So I'll pay 75 for that any day. And so I had it listed for $500. I really wanted to get at least 400 like based on those comps. But this was around the time when we were like really saving up for my new car. And so I was being really lax, not lax, but you know, I was just accepting offers a little bit more than I normally would. And so I had haggled with this one person who really got me like emotionally invested in their plight, which happens to me way too much. Um, we were going back and forth, back and forth. And she really, she was like the highest I want that I can really pay right now is 340. So I told her because we were commenting back and forth in a bundle. Look, totally understand, but this is like brand new. So I, I'm not, I don't want to take a lower offer yet. And you know, I'll, I'll come back and I'll let you know if this is still here in a couple weeks at least. Because I really didn't want to go under 400 and she was like, okay, totally cool. And so this didn't sell after a couple weeks and like I said, I, I really wanted some money coming in at that time. So I messaged her back and I was like, hey, I'm back. Like, are you still interested in getting this for 340? And she was like, yeah, 
And I was like, let's do it. So she sent me that offer and I accepted. So it was really cool. So my revenue was 272 and then my net was um, after cost of goods was 197 so I got $200 profit off, off of that dress for a 57.94% profit margin and it took 26 days to sell and it would have taken more and I would have made more but that's still under a month for a $200 profit on one item so really happy on that and then I also like since then after seeing how well that did I actually went back and I'm not saying a damn thing about where I sourced this because it's too good but sorry but so I went back and they had more so I bought like um five more of this exact dress plus like a bunch of other stuff from them is like new attack Zimmerman like all this like, same same exact stuff so I still have those so I'm really I'm sure those will be in my April video um, so my number one sale for the month of March, and this is such a good sale. So it is this Zimmerman Corsair Flutter top and short set in a size eight. So I had sold just this, um, just the shorts before for the um, like basically two hundred dollars. Um, so I sold the top and short set for four hundred dollars on eBay too. So not as much fees. So I was so happy about this because I was counter offering back and forth with someone on eBay and they came up quite a bit. I was very happy with how much that they, I just really appreciate when someone knows, understands the value of the item and they're not trying to get something for something they don't want to work for. I know that's like something my husband would say. It sounds kind of harsh, but so they came up to $400 and I, I had it listed for 600. So that's why like I was even questioning accepting 400 because it's not super often that you find this set together. And I knew that I finally accepted the $400 and I'm really happy that I did because I earned $337 and my net profit was $232 for a profit margin of 58%. So these took one day to sell and I made $232 off of them. Oh. Okay guys, thank you so much. I will see you guys next month for what sold over $75 in April.